today i have to break certain rules <laughs> that i speak one one subject every day without a break and today i have to speak for three days together that means when i am traveling i cannot take my crew my team to record my lecture because we don't have that financial backup to take the crew so my team told me please complete three days shooting in one day that's all today so three days shooting next two days i will not be talking i'll be traveling so next three days shooting so it will be a continuous flow without a break charlotte bronte born on 21st april 1816 in thornton in the united kingdom died on 31st march 1855 in haworth in the united kingdom was an english novelist and poet the eldest of the three bronte sisters who survived into adulthood and whose novels became classics of english literature charlotte bronte said happiness quite unshared can scarcely be called a happiness it has no taste the whole world understands and the whole body is made like that it's a circle hence they call the world is round whatever you eat only what is needed in the body the body absorbs others goes back to the soil and the soil is nurtured back into beautiful flowers and fruits and the industrial revolution as made people to open bank accounts to put what they have eaten their shit into the banks as bank deposits and fixed deposits and from then it started stinking because that was not flowering it didn't go back to the soil it didn't go back to the nature it didn't go back to the people happiness quite unshared that was the happiness whatever the pranayama is taught the whole world one thing is inhale one retention twice that means work hard to two times i'm uh, sorry retention four exhale two times work hard four times and immediately without thinking just share it the moment you think you are gone yes it strikes without thinking answers flows without thinking when you are deeply in love with the subject when you are a practitioner without a fat only skeletal muscle in the body and that happiness is experience that happiness is the flexibility that happiness can fall anywhere but it bounces back a hundred times like a tennis ball charlotte bronte said happiness quite unshared can scarcely be called happiness if it is not shared you never live in happiness it has no taste it never have taste and to be why it is not tasty because when you are not shared it you are thinking the money in the bank will go to the doctors and to the hospitals the money in the bank the fixed deposits which you are not shared it to rakum school and to or to the ngos or to your latest what is needed creates a fear psychosis in you you live in fear give it off on the spot yes give it off yes give it off don't keep it it starts thinking and that stink is called the constipation and once you are living in constipation the whole western world have got constipation because can you believe you go to the western world western countries nobody drinks water and i was shocked to see ukraine 
the moment rain falls, Ukrainian people go rushes up and keep all the buckets and mugs and bottles outside so that the rainwater fills up those bottles. What for? To drink. Because ocean water cleanses. It is medicine. It is powerful. One drop of that ozone water, the rainwater falls and the grass grows of its own. You don't have to do anything. Such is the power of the ozone. People have become so much that they started drinking concentrated sugary water called soft drinks or they go and ask for beer they forgot the originality of the water they go to the gym again the originality is lost the time they spent on the gym if they have gone to work in the field and they could touch their feet on the soil in the gym they are using shoes that created the first constipation of the skin trying to breathe in you are blocked the body you open up your body like the Surya Namaskar and you invite the sun to enter and then play all around the body so that he can kill all the cancerous cells in the body but in the gymnasiums no in the beer and the soft drinks no the original water yes from the rain water, from the borewell, from the well, yes, it is so beautiful. And then you start loving because you could love, that love is called the sharing. Once you know to love and look at the sunlight and the rain and you look at the birds and the plants and you feel happiness. You have shared the happiness because you have accepted the happiness of the nature of the beautiful plants looking at you. First time you have observed such a beautiful flower looking at you, the plants, how it grows. Body is nourished. In the gym you are putting on your shoes, but in the land it is no shoes. The, the body touches the mud and the mud sucks all the unnecessary poisons out of the body. That's what naturopathy has taught. Yes, when you fall sick, they dig five feet and put you inside. That why the top layer may be having some chemicals. The mud sucks all of that. Knowingly or knowingly, yes, you're always healthy. And the fresh air sitting inside the house, sitting inside the office. See, the industrial revolution will drag you inside the offices from early morning to night inside the office and giving you artificial lights, artificial AC, made you artificial, made you a slave, made you a nobody. You are dead. And still, you believe in them and you run like a remote control toy and you're thinking you're educated. Charlotte Bronte said happiness quite unshared can scarcely be called happiness. It has no taste and that happiness is the embrace of you with your wife and your children. You have shared the happiness without any preconditions. Yes. It is just plain happiness. You play, climb the tree, pull them down, roll in the mud, the dirty mud, you come back and you scrub it up. Wow, you first time you felt the skin is opening it up. Yes. The sunlight falling right inside your body, the beautiful wind. When you once you understand the taste of the happiness of the wind, you will never sit inside your house. They made you a nobody. Come out into the open. Yes, the wind is there to share his happiness, accept that uh, sharing, and then you know, without you knowing, your smile has created wonders in the world. Yes, many, many people's sickness have gone. You see a person, you don't think twice, you rush us up and give a helping hand. Yes. It happens of its own. It strikes without thinking. Happiness quite unshared can scarcely be called happiness. It has no taste. Whatever you buy, like how people in Indranagar, they say whatever you buy, they buy, they buy one share for Rakkum school. Yes. And the, um, the wife tells the husband, if you're going to next door to uh, Nilgiris or the SMK stores, 
Please buy one share for Rakum School. Yes, they make sure whatever they eat, they keep one share of Rakum. That was the beauty of Rakum School with the relationship with the Indira Nagar. When I came to Devanagali, the, the farmers, I tell, no, 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 I come here to serve. I don't want anything. And still, when I go to sleep night, 12 o'clock, one bag of tomatoes, one bag of cauliflower. Well, even lorry people never cross in front of Rakum School without stopping and dropping either the grass or the cauliflower bags. And market people are coming and just drive one tractor load into Rakum School. I tell them, no, it's not possible. I won't take from you. Happiness sharing is thy name of my dear, thy name of my Devanagali, by thy name of my God Indira Nagar, the home of God. Charlotte Bronte said, happiness quite unshared can scarcely be called happiness. It has no taste.